And I want to put into perspective the sheer amount of glucose we get from starchy foods, because honestly, I think you'll be shocked. Now in the US, the average person consumes around 13 and a half teaspoons of added sugar per day. But I wanna just compare that to a single medium slice of white bread. According to the National Federation of Bakers, that slice contains 17 grams of starch and all of that starch breaks down into glucose. So eating a single slice of white bread will flood your bloodstream with the same amount of glucose that eight and a half teaspoons of table sugar would. And you might be thinking, yeah, but these starches get digested slowly, so they'll have a much slower impact on our blood glucose levels and are therefore better for us, right? Well, again, you might be surprised. You've probably heard of the glycemic index, a scale that measures how quickly food spikes your blood glucose levels. If your glucose gets the top score of 100, whilst eggs have a score of zero and broccoli has a score of 10. But common starchy foods tell a different story. That white bread has a glycemic index somewhere between 70 and 85. White rice is similar, 70 to 87. Brown bread has got a glycemic index of 50 to 65. It is better, but it's still not great. Boiled potatoes have a glycemic index up to 96, amongst the highest on the scale. The idea that starchy foods release glucose slowly doesn't always hold up. Many of these foods will spike your blood glucose levels rapidly. So quitting sugar for 30 days. It's a great step and a really, really important one. But here's the thing, cutting out sugar without addressing the colossal amount of glucose from starches, foods we're told should be the foundation of our diets, misses a critical part of the picture. Now, this is especially true if you're dealing with conditions like type two diabetes or prediabetes, but also crucially, insulin resistance, where your pancreas is gonna have to produce bucket loads of insulin to deal with all that glucose from starch. So the big question I'm expecting many of you have at this point is, well, does this really apply to me? 